Hello, I'm Daniil, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing our series of videos with respect to uh, information, education, inspiration, guidance, and advice. And um, I want to talk very, very briefly about this concept of God uh, turning away from us, hiding his face from us, abandoning us, forsaking us. And um, in the book of Isaiah, in chapter 54, verse 7, the verse goes, But for a brief moment I have forsaken you, and with abundant mercy I shall gather you in. Gather you in, presumably, from an exile. Now, um, I don't care who you are, um, the present uh, exile we're in, the present Gullus, uh, I don't think anybody can call this a brief moment. We're going on 2,000 years already. So, what gives? Um, it's by no means a brief moment. Our, our sages say, Chazal say, explain, that the days of the exile will in fact be lengthy, as we know all too well. But, they will seem like nothing. When, uh, in they will seem nothing more than a, a brief moment in comparison to the abundant mercy that Hashem will demonstrate when He gathers us in. It was Harav Moshe Swift who makes another interesting comparison between forsaken and uh, us and um, abundant mercy. He compares it to someone who was observant uh, and for a reason, one reason or another, for a brief time goes like off the derrick. He goes off the path. Um, he strays and then eventually he comes back. He is, in fact, a Baal Tshuva. Somebody who comes back. Tshuva, return. Somebody returns. Um, uh, Rav Moshe uh, Swift says this verse in Isaiah 54 can be compared to, for a brief moment, God turns his face. You, you go off the derrick and he says, oh, well, you know, that's, that's not good. But when in time you smarten up, the person smartens up, makes his way back, gets back on track, comes back and does tshuva and, and everything like that, he requires God's abundant mercy in order to, uh, to get right with God, to, to, fully, uh, to fully get back on track. Um, we, we must strengthen our boundaries um, and solidify our perimeters with a solid grounding in uh, Jewish education and an ongoing attachment to Torah and mitzvahs, and Hashem, to the Creator. Only then can we really ensure that the, um, the winds of change and um, the temptations of other cultures uh, won't sway us um, beyond the, the scope of the Torah commandments. Uh, let's dedicate ourselves to this. Those of you who are Bali um welcome back. Uh, God does have abundant mercy, and uh, you are all, may you come closer to Torah uh, mitzvahs, closer to observance, closer to Yiddishkeit, closer to Judaism, closer to uh, the Creator. And um, it's good to have you back. And um, we missed you. God missed you. And um, you are all welcome uh, additions, re-additions uh, to the Jewish people. Um, Chazak, may you, may you be strengthened. And uh, welcome back. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuno Project, I'm Daniil, and thank you too much.